Well, this morning I want to talk to you a little bit about bloat. Bloat is nothing more than just excessive accumulation of gas in the rumen. We have two forms of bloat. We have what we refer to as a gas bloat, which is usually associated with some type of obstruction, uh, which does not, not allow for the animal to erect take the gas off, or we also have it associated with grain overload and you get this fermentation of that grain and you get this excessive accumulation of gas. The other form is what we call to, as frothy bloat and that's just where all the materials are mixed inside that rumen. Typically the clinical signs that you're going to see with bloat is you're just going to see this excessive tight skin on the left side of the animal. Uh, these animals may be in pain. Uh, you may see the animal kick at its abdomen or, or walk around a lot. Now as far as treatment is concerned, uh, the most important thing is to try to get that gas off of that room. And so a lot of times we're going to use some type of uh, nasal gastric tube, which we can put that down, large bore tube that will let that gas come off. In extremely uh, dangerous situation, we actually have to do surgery, a ruminotomy, open up the room and then let that gas out, or use a trocar to puncture uh, into the room and to let that gas off. Uh, other treatments we'll do is we'll administer antacids when we have a gas bloat, and we'll also, or we'll use some type of anti-foaming agent when we have a frothy bloat. The way to prevent this is we never want to turn hungry animals out onto lush uh, green pastures such as cereal grains or pastures that have a lot of lagoons in them. Uh, you want to gradually adapt these animals to new pastures or when you're changing feed, you want to gradually adapt, make that gradual change over several days to that new feed. Uh, rotating pastures or grazing mature pastures will reduce the incidence of bloat. If you'd like some more information about bloat, go to sunup.okstate.edu.